This is an overview of close reading, a review. Close reading is when we take a look at a text or a picture or we listen to a song and we read between the lines to see what does it really mean. Deeper reading is close reading. Close reading is when you realize that the text you are reading actually means something else. The author uses the surface to share with you a hidden message. Our job as readers, critical readers, is to decipher what does this text really mean. It has to mean something else. Everything you read means something else. If you want to be successful on the SAT, the FSA assignments in this English 3 class, you must realize that if it's a poem, an article, an essay, everything that you read has hidden clues as to the meaning beyond it. How do you do that? Pay attention to everything. Pay attention to the title. Pay attention to the way the story or the poem started. Pay attention to colors. Colors really aren't colors. They all have hidden symbols. Yellow, if the author uses yellow in the story, it has a hidden message. If the author uses the color red or a reference to red, that has a hidden message. If the author refers to a season, that carries a certain message. Spring, summer, winter, fall. If you see those mentioned in a document, it means something else. If the author mentions time of day, age, time of you know evening, morning, those all have hidden clues. Pay attention to all the clues the author uses. So how do you do that? You want to ask, how is it that the author created these? That's our goal. So not only do we pay attention to what the author is doing, we also pay attention to how. How did the author, you know, ask yourself, if you read something and you laugh, ha, 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 ha. What did the author do to make you laugh? Think of the author as an artist. You know, when you look at the picture and you go, oh, this is beautiful. What did the artist do to get that response from you? So if you read a document and you are sad or you are angry or you're frustrated, what did the author do to create that? So your job as a critical reader, as a close reader for analysis, your job is to determine what is the author doing that takes close reading. You have to pay attention to what the author is doing. Analysis is simply to break things apart. You take a poem and you are going to take it completely apart so that you can put it back together for the big aha. And the aha is always a message about life. What's most important about close reading is it always has a message for humanity. It has a message for humans. It's a warning for us. Like if you read a poem, this poem is going to have a warning for us or this poem is going to have advice on how we should live. But everything that we read carries meaning for humanity. So if I ask you to listen to a song, you should be able to say, here's the message about life from this song. If I ask you to read a poem, here's the message about life. But you can only do that after you break the poem into small pieces. So you take it all apart to put it back together again. And that is close reading.